Hello everybody and welcome back to Frostpunk. It's been a little while since the last time I recorded, so I just took a moment to, you know, take stock of what's going on and it seems like we've got a couple issues to sort out today. I remember struggling with food and it looks like we are in the process of sorting that um, issue out. We're building another, hunter, another hunter's hangar right here. Um, so hopefully with one, two, three, four, five hunter huts, uh, we should be fine on food. But the next major problem is actually coal and steel. Um, I don't know of a good way to get steel other than steel mines. And we have both of our steam steel mines operating. So other than that, I don't know what we can do to get more steel. But that seems to be our big limiting factor in terms of expansion and building. Um, and then coal. Um, as far as coal goes, it says we've got 11 hours of coal left. That's not a lot. Now, I know we have an outpost team going to build um, an outpost here at the coal mine, so that'll increase our coal production a little bit. Um, but I think this probably calls for another thumper. Like right here. Um, three thumpers and three coal mines and a coal outpost. Hopefully should be enough. I think the reason we're going through coal so quickly is um, we have all of these we have all of these steam hubs around, and I think they're pretty hungry as far as coal goes. But you know, we have to do what we have to do. Now we have a little bit of time before we get a temperature drop. We have a couple days, so in that couple days, we also have let's see. Okay, I was going to say we have people with no homes, but actually that, that, that issue has been sorted out. We have 53 hungry, but we have 75 foods, so not sure why people aren't seeing to their needs. Of course, we've still got 38 Londoners. Um, let's see, if we look at the church, is there anything we could do? We could do evening prayers. But that costs 20 food rations. The number of hungry citizens uh, is more than the number of food rations we have, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to go ahead and commit us to spending food we don't have to reduce the number of Londoners. If 38 people decide to up and leave this colony, then oh well. There's nothing we can do about it. All right. Looks like one of our outposts has arrived. Build an outpost that can be set up here, delivering an estimated 800 coal every one day. 800 coal every day. That sounds really good. That sounds really, really good. So at this coal thumper, we're going to want to max out the workers here. Um, shouldn't the coal thumper come with a coal pile that we also need to... I don't know, maybe it needs to start operating before we get access to the coal pile. I think we are currently, what are we researching? Improved heaters. What, one thing I want to get going is the factory. I think we could build automatons in the factory using our steam cores, and I think that's going to be the best way to get around the clock resources like steel and coal, because automatons don't go to sleep. They work. Um, they work around the clock. I think this is one of our automatons, yeah. The white lowland. Here he is. It's, that's a really cool animation, how he integrates himself into the coal mine right there. Um, our scouts have reached the ice corridor. We're following the wide corridor of crushed ice that the American dreadnought, the USS Hephaestus, left in its wake. Okay, let's see what's up here. A triumph of engineering. We marvel at the thick slabs of ice that have been crushed and swept aside by the American dreadnought Hephaestus. Soon we might be able to learn how it managed to accomplish such feats. We can see a huge silhouette in the distance which might be its sister ship, the Prometheus. There's nothing to do here, but that sounds like a clear let's push onwards to the Prometheus. There's a research station and an icebound dreadnought. I want to go to the icebound dreadnought. The Prometheus. Let's see what's there. Alright. Um, 
So, food is the issue now. Um, we have way more wood than we know what to do with, so that's not really been an issue for us, but food really is. We need to upgrade these into hunter's hangers as well. I think we have the 40 steel we need to do at least one of them. Oh my gosh, 70 hungry citizens. Things might turn pretty bad in this episode. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to go ahead and bump up the speed. I think three times speed is too much, but two times speed is good. I wish this game remembered your speed. Every time I pause the game and restart the game, it always restarts the game on normal speed, which is just a little bit slow for my tastes at this point in the game. We've got things up and going and automated, so pretty much there's not too much to do except for sit around and watch when you're not building new things. Other cities may have fallen, but not London. It's impossible. We are going to make it in this hole. We have to leave. We aren't going to make it in this hole. We have to leave. Excuse me, who said you got to talk? You don't get to talk. All right, cookhouse. I need you to cook up all these new meals that we got. Improved heaters researched. All right, we need to be researching factories now. Perfect. Get some factories go up and going, and that's gonna let us. That's gonna let us um, start to use our steam cores to build some uh, automatons. All right. Icebound dreadnought. Most of the machinery aboard the USS Prometheus has been dismantled and taken away. The massive steam hammer used to split the thickest ice lies broken below the ship's bow. Um, Alright, this is going to give us some wood, uh, steel, and steam cores. The dreadnought is stripped of useful machinery, but its hulk contains enough steel to justify establishing an outpost here. On the bridge, we found a log with Tesla's last orders. Transfer all supplies and able-bodied survivors aboard Hephaestus. Take the amputees only if you have the prostheses to make them useful. Jeez, that's really dark. Okay. Well. Hmm. Do we... Do we want to take the 128 uh, steel and four steam cores back to the colony directly or do we want to push on? I say we I say we push on to the research station and then we send them back. All right. Now, we could build another outpost team. We could build another outpost team. But I we don't have the workers to afford another outpost team right now. Hopefully we get some more survivors soon. Our next uh, two outpost teams are going to be in this order of priority, the Tesla City for the steam cores and then the Icebound Dreadnought for the steel. We don't need the food outpost, I don't think, at the fishing village until a little bit later. I know we have starving people, but we're just about skating by here. Is our cookhouse able to keep up I think it should be. All right. Now, of course, we don't have all the possible workers that we might need working at this coal pile out here, which I think we should have automatons working at these coal piles because they all say they're cold workplaces, even though we have a steam hub in range. A lying child. Sir, a girl is asking to speak to you. She's crying and repeating her mother is innocent. I lied. I lied to the priest. I'm so sorry. I told him that my mom said you're a damned fool and will burn in hell, but I was just mad at her. I made it all up. Please don't punish her. Go and don't do this guy. Again, the child must be lying. Her mother will be punished. Discontent will fall slightly. No, no, no. We're going to take the bonus to our hope. There we go. Now we can research a new technology. Steam sawmill we don't really need. 
Charcoal kilns might be good. Steam coal thumpers, that's what we're gonna want. Some um, improved, improved uh, coal thumpers. Maybe some research depot upgrades too, but I don't actually think we need the steam coal thumpers right now. I think at thinking about it now, I'd rather just get level three. Get access to level three technologies. We're gonna want them sooner rather than later. Alright. Here we go. So let's see about building one of these new factories. And where we could build it. They're huge buildings. We could build it here in the steel sector. That's kind of thematic. It kind of feels like it fits. Um, I hope it's not really worker hungry, but I bet you it will be. All right. I think we can adopt a new law. So see, in adaptation, are there any laws that we really want? Ceremonial funerals. Those who give their lives in service to the city deserve the highest honor. We will give our dead ceremonial funerals to inspire the living. Loss of hope caused by deaths is halved. Okay. That seems like a good one. Um, extra rations for the ill or overcrowding. Extra rations for the ill. Use extra rations in medical facilities to speed up recovery. Once we have more food, we'll consider that. Prosthetics. Everyone wants to contribute to the survival of our city. If we can bring amputees back to full fitness, we should do it. Um, prostheses available in the factory. Amputees will fitted with prostheses and medical facilities will be able to work again. Okay, good to know those are things. We can build a fighting arena. I don't know about that. Like, we might consider this later, but I think if we want to deal with hope and discontent instead of fighting arenas, we're going to kind of lean into the religion. We could build shrines to improve, work, to improve workplace efficiency. Um, I think we will. So if I go to faith, a shrine is relatively inexpensive and it improves workplace efficiency of all nearby work, working buildings. Okay, so let's see. We can either get the medical tent upgraded or the factory upgraded. I think we're going to put one right here. Um, we can get another shrine here. We might as well just build a bunch of them. Apparently, the hunter's huts don't count. We'll build one here in our um, coal district. Yeah, I think three shrines will probably do the trick. For now, at least. Alright. Perfect. With so much to do, we really need to be reminded to pray. At least somewhere to uh, say our prayers in peace. We have a church, man. Use the church. Alright. There's a new event popping up. The Londoners pray on discontent if you are persuaded. A member of the Londoners is talking to a crowd. He's trying to scare as many as possible into joining the exodus to London, but his visions of doom ring false in the ears of the people who are content with the situation in our city. Let him speak, ask the cleric to reassure the people, or disperse the crowd. I'm gonna ask the cleric to reassure the people. Oh boy. Ah, oh, look at our look at our flying hunters go. Scouts have reached the research station. Alright. Hopefully we can find out what's going on with this whole cold thing. The door of the research station has been bashed in. There are signs of fighting inside. Broken furniture, damaged scientific instruments, and spatters of blood. Well, isn't that a little ominous? Alright. Let's see what's going on in here. Inside the ransack station, we found Tesla's audio diary. A voice speaks. All the observed changes, like the sun's dimming, volcanic ash, could not have caused such cooling. But what if the huge quake of 1887 in Patagonia was an asteroid strike? There's shouting, crashes, then silence. Numerous tracks led from the door towards the mountains. Interesting. 
So this might have been brought on by some kind of asteroid strike. Um, I think we keep pressing on until we get either some food to bring back to the city, which we desperately need, or some survivors. And hopefully there's some survivors at the cave hideout. Um, are these guys going to the cave hideout? I think they are. Perfect. More survivors to build an outpost. You know, I think we're doing good enough on coal right now. I'd rather have these workers not at the coal thumper. I'd rather have these workers not at the coal thumper, but at a outpost team. I just need to find where that is. I forgot where I put it. Here's the outpost depot. Oh, we can only have one outpost at a time. So let's look at our technologies here. Faster outpost teams. Allows us to research. Huh. Additional scouts. We can only have one outpost at a time. But I don't know if we want to spend those people on coal necessarily. I thought we could have multiple outposts, but I guess that's a little bit overpowered. To balance the game, they only let us have one. Hmm. So let's look out here. The coal is nice, but I really want to get my hands on steam cores. And these are the, like we can get coal through thumpers and whatnot, but steam cores are a bit of a rare um, resource. Dismantle this outpost to call back an outpost team and stop further transports. Okay. I say we build an outpost here. 24 hours at Tesla City? Okay. Perfect. How are we doing on food? Still not great. We had a death. The Londoners prey on discontent revenge. Sir, the priest you sent to challenge the Londoner's speaker, he's dead. They hanged him from the generator. A piece of paper was found pinned to his lifeless body with liars written on it. They went too far. Oh my gosh, we need some law and order around here. But I really don't want to... I really don't want to go too far here myself. They're killing people. We need to be better than that. We need to be better than them. wonder if... No. Do we want extended workday on this coal thumper? I think so. Coal is our number one priority to get a ton of. Um, the temple has influenced some people to mend their ways. That's great news. That's great news. We still, still are struggling for food. Um... Now, the shrine doesn't highlight the hunter's huts, but just in case it does give us the, the bonus, I'm going to put one here anyways, a shrine here anyways. It might not be doing anything for us, but I'd rather, you know, I'd rather have it maybe give us a bonus than not at all. Okay, we're going to build another hunter's hangar here. Six hunter's hangers. I mean, if this doesn't sort out our food issues, I don't know what will. Maybe we need to actually build hot houses. I don't know why I'm insisting on using hunters only here. We have all this technology. It's just there's been more exciting technologies to research. Shrines have been erected. People feel encouraged to pray more often. Hope increases. Oh my gosh. I don't like seeing that the tendency right now is neutral. We need more food. Desperately. What's going on here? 
How much coal? Close at this time of day. That's why it's not telling us how much coal per hour it's producing. We only have 11 hours left of coal. Okay. We really need to be thinking about coal. Maybe we should have left our outpost at the coal. I just think steam cores are in rare supply. And if we can get like a regular income of steam cores, we would be crazy not to do it. This only needs five engineers working. Um, of course, we're going to want to put our, all of our new workers to work at the hunter's hangar. Is there somewhere else we can take workers away from? How many workshops do we have researching things? We have five workshops. Maybe we downsize to four workshops for the time being and use those people in this new factory. And let's see, what, what can we create? Automatons. We can create one automaton with our one, um, what am I saying? With our one steam core. Okay, scouts have reached the cave hideout. Let's see what's going on at this cave hideout. Survivors, yay, we climbed up to the cave. A low stone wall stands across this entrance. Behind it, we can see several men. All right, as we approach the cave, its inhabitants pull out rifles and take positions behind the wall, barring the entrance. They are in bad shape, weak from malnourishment and illness. We can talk to them or we can attack them. Uh, why would we attack them? Of course we're going to talk to them. Nothing like small talk. Seeing that we have no ill intentions, the Americans told us how they dealt justice to the inventor after expelling him from the city. We buried Tesla's battered body in the cave and are heading home with these poor wretches in tow. Alright, 35 new workers. I say we head back home. Oh, they're already heading home. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to want to have some homes ready for them in the meantime. Production queue is empty. But we queued up an automaton. Is it because we need 50 coal, one steam core, 100 wood, and 100 steel, and we don't have the 100 steel? It might be. It might be that we just need to save up on steel. So we have 23 starving and 55 hungry. Oh boy. Okay, um... We have medical posts, and we also have infirmaries that are doing the job. Since we don't have um, an overabundance of people who need to be treated, I'm going to pull the engineers off of these medical posts, and I'm going to put them to work somewhere else apparently I can only use workers here so this is making my life a little bit more difficult we can put the engineers to work at this coal thumper and then we can put 10 workers to work in the hunter's hangar coal says we only have 7 hours left of coal 6 hours left we have to get organized we have to do something yeah, we're trying to build automatons. I think that'll be our solution. If we look at our research options, streamline processes, streamlined automatons. So if we streamline them and integrate them, hopefully we can get them more efficiently working and we can kind of build a bunch of them. With our new outpost getting us steam cores, we should be able to build a bunch. Okay. Food is becoming a real issue, though. We're, these people are bringing back with them no food. This scouting party, I don't think, has any food with them either. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Maybe we need to build a fishing village to outpost. I don't know. Let's see what's going on now. A tip from a believer, Captain, a woman has revealed she knows where some of the Londoners gather. We'll act on this information. Some Lond Londoners will be persuaded to stay. We've got the number down to 29. Alright. When the ability cooldowns expire, we don't have enough food rations for these options, but we can choose the sermon. Perfect. Hope will rise slightly.
think we're gonna need some even more hunters. Mechanical calculators have been researched. Okay. Streamlined automatons. Automatons will cost 20 wood and 20 steel less to make. That's not what I want. I want something that improves their efficiency. Automaton integration improves the workplace of integration of automatons, boosting their efficiency by 10%. So now they'll work at 70% 70, 70 of a full crew instead of, I guess, 60 since it's improved by 10%. Sure. Or we can streamline prostheses. Or we can get generator power upgrades. Or we can get infirmary mechanization. Infirmary, infirmaries will employ fewer people. Now this is interesting. Anything that can get us more workers is going to be very valuable to us. Steam coal mines. Okay, we have to get steam coal mines. There's so many research options I want to get, but I think steam coal mines has to be our first option because steel is because uh not steel coal is such a such an issue for us right now. Um, where can we build more houses? It seems like this is a growing neighborhood. Um, we might have to build some more hunters huts um, outside the neighborhood, but we're gonna need more house homes for the people that we're escorting in. Um. How many people are we escorting to the city? 35. So we're going to need to build four new bunkhouses. Okay. We can build four new bunkhouses. Easy, easy. Okay. One, two, three, four. And we need to build a road that goes along with it. Like that. We'll build another road. We need to build more roads that connect the city kind of like vertically, I think. Make sure our city is really easy to traverse. There we go. Perfect. Some more roads like that. Um, the city's looking pretty good. Perfect. Gonna have some roads going out like that. Okay, plenty of roads. And I think when our scouts arrive with the new citizens, we're going to go ahead and end the episode there. In anticipation of our minus three, and a minus three temperature drop. Oh my gosh. It's going to be real rough when that happens. I think we're doing okay on food. I really think we're doing okay on food. A breath of hope, sir. People have started to leave personal charms, beads, and written prayers at shrines as votive offerings. It seems to help them keep their spirits up in these trying times. I'm so glad to hear that. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, can we, like, improve these shrines? We could build field kitchens or houses of healing. New building house of healing. The house of healing doesn't require engineers, but treats the gravely ill and gives all patients a small hope bonus. I don't know about that one. Field kitchen. Each field kitchen will provide people working nearby with hot meals to keep them warm. Raises the temperature of nearby workplaces one level. Um, I don't know if any of those are necessary. I say we go back to adaptation. And overcrowding. The capacity of medical facilities is doubled. Using the extra capacity will cause discontent. That's like really good. Extra rations for the ill is just like making our ill cost more food. I don't think we can really afford that. I mean, it will help them recover faster. I'm anticipating for the worst, okay? We're gonna need overcrowding. We wanna be ready. But let's get prosthesis, prosthetics first. We've got two amputees. And we've got a factory that we can use. If I can remember where I put the factory. Here's the factory. Let's produce two prostheses. All right, let's go. This will be exciting. All right, I think we're gonna leave the episode here. We are doing all right. We finally got food 
under control, I think. I hope. We're about to get a bunch of new mouths to feed though, so might not hold. Um, I might regret making that decision, but I want to reduce the number of Londoners, so we're going to use all of our prayer options that cost us 40 food there. But, you know, with all hope, we should be fine in the next episode. We should be able to get production of automatons up and going. That will be great for us because that means we can have some of these facilities working around the clock. And once we get these automatons working more efficiently, um, they should be a real boon to our colony. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.